Hi, so I'm here today to show you how to throw a cylinder. The first thing I'm going to check is make sure that my stool is pulled up as close as I can to the wheel head and my head is directly over the wheel. So your posture is very important as it tells you how much strength you're going to have when you're centering. So when I center, I'm pushing in with my arm and I'm pushing down with my hand, the side of my hand. And by those two motions, um, the clay ideally goes into center. So I want to wet my hand slightly. And I'm pushing in with my left arm as if it's going through the wall in front of me. And I'm pushing down. And I'm also tightening up my core muscles to help stabilize my body. My arms are tucked into the sides or resting against my legs. And you'll know when the clay is centered, mostly by feel. If you have trouble, you can make the clay, uh, push the clay down to make it flatter and then taller again. And the act of doing that a lot of times will bring the clay into center by itself. Okay, so once you feel the clay is pretty stable, you're going to go ahead and sink the well. So what I do is I always brace my hand, so I touch my left hand to my right thumb, and I lay it on top of the clay. Once I feel it's stable, I raise up and push down at about a 10 degree angle. And I'm going down to about 3 fourths an inch, I'm sorry, about 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom. Alright, so once I do this, I, because I'm throwing a cylinder, the walls of a cylinder are nice and straight and the bottom is completely flat and perpendicular to the walls. So I'm going to use my fingers and do a slight little curve on the inside, so I'm making a little ledge of clay. This doesn't change the outside shape of the clay, but if you were to see my fingers from the inside, it's just, I'm just scraping along the bottom. Okay, so that makes the bottom nice and flat and gives me a little bit of a head start. From this point, I'm going to pull the top part of the clay so that it opens up and it is equal with the bottom sides. I'm not pulling up, I'm just pulling with straight fingers towards the palm of my hand while supporting this outside right here. So from here I have a nice little cylinder that I can start doing my pulls on. And when I do pulls, I use my two middle fingers that are right, um, one on the inside and one on the outside. And I pinch my fingers together as the clay starts to move up. Once I get to the top, I stay there for just a minute, and then I float away. I felt an air bubble in the clay, so if that happens to you, you just take your needle tool and poke at your air bubble, and the next time you do a pull, it will um, disappear. Okay, so I'm going to do another pull, making a, a little ridge at the base. Notice how slowly my hands are going up. Um, it, lots of mistakes people make uh, when they first get started is they try to pull their hands up too quickly. And when they do that, they jump right over the lump of clay that they're trying to bring to the top. So by keeping your hands moving slowly, you can keep your fingers under that lump and bring it all the way to the top. I'm going to do one last Pull, and this is basically just kind of pulling up any leftover clay from the base. Getting a last bit of height. So from here I can straighten up the outside with one of my ribs. Your metal rib also works really well for this for removing some of the throwing rings.
And I like to clean up the bottom. I have a tool that just has a little groove in it. You put it at the base for a foot. If nothing else, even if you're trimming this later on, it gives you a symmetrical circle to start with so it's not too off-center when you're trimming. So let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. All right, so the, both the walls are pretty even on both sides, and that's what you're looking for. And then the bottom is completely perpendicular to the sides. So a cylinder is a difficult form to start with, but once you master the cylinder, you're able to throw a wide variety of other forms. So that's why it's so important to get the height down. All right, thank you.